So when I first started going to church, if the pastor started speaking about money, I immediately tuned myself out. I didn't want to hear any messages on money. I didn't want anybody telling me how I should use my money. I mean, it was, it was hard to earn money, and I was going to spend my money the way that I wanted to spend it. And I wasn't going to have any pastor or any church tell me that I ought to be giving to someone or something that I can't see. And so when the subject of money would come up in the church, I always tuned out in the church. You see, I was programmed to think that, that the church is just a greedy institution that just wants your money. And that's all they want is your money. They don't care about you. They care about what you have. So when that subject come up, I shut down. And maybe you've done the same. Well, today, I want you to know that when we talk about the subject of giving, it's not all about money. Stick around. My name is Jeremy Skinner. 10 Minutes of Truth, partnering with you to bring you 10 minutes of accurate biblical truth that, if applied, will produce spiritual growth in your life. If this is your first time here, I want to thank you for stopping by. And then I want to ask you to do me a huge favor, and that is to click the subscribe button down in the lower right-hand corner of your screen. And then share this with one of your buddies, share it with one of your friends, share it on social media. We are believers, and together we have been called to the task of taking this message to the uttermost ends of the world. I can't do this by myself, you can't do it by yourself, but together we can do it. Now, when we talk about giving, I want you to know that it is more than just money. Giving, I think, is absolutely significant when it comes to your time. So it's not about giving money, it's about giving your time. James 4.14 says that you don't even know what will happen tomorrow. What is your life? Is it not just a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes? He says that, that our life is like a vapor that's here one moment and gone the next. Paul said to the church at Ephesus that uh, we are to make the most of every moment, to redeem the time because the days are evil. And then he said to the church at Colossae to be wise in how you act towards others make the most of every opportunity so we give our time we make the most of what we have we don't we don't waste our time we invest our time time is a non-renewable resource i mean once time is gone you can't get it back once it's gone it's gone so when you give somebody your time you are giving them a piece of your life and you're giving them a piece of your life that you will never get back. Now that's pretty important, that's pretty significant, because when you give some that to somebody, you are giving them you. And you're telling them, maybe not verbally saying that, but you're, you're sharing with them your life, you're sharing with them a part of your life that you're never gonna get back. That means that when we share that with somebody, we are implying or we are saying that, you know what, you mean so much to me that I'm willing to give you this. I'm willing to give you this part of me that I will never get back. I'm willing to give you this, my time that I will never get back. That's how important you are and that's how important others ought to be and need to be in our lives. That means that we're gonna to have to step away from our online life for a period of time. That means we're gonna to have to shut down the Facebook. We're gonna to have to shut down the internet. That means that we're gonna to have to shut down the media. We're gonna to have to shut down the TV. We're gonna to have to step away and enjoy life with others, face to face, person to person. And when we get away from this online life, it allows us to, to rest for a little bit. It allows our minds to rest for a little bit. It allows us to refresh and to restore so that we can practice this principle of giving ourselves to others, by giving our time to others. Listen to what Paul said to the church at Corinth in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 14 and 15. He says that it is the love of Christ that compels us. The love of Christ compels us because we judge thus that if one died for all, then all died, and he died for all. So that, now that's a purpose clause. Whenever you're reading the Bible, you come to a comma and the word that or so that, it's called a purpose clause. The purpose of this love, the purpose of this death 
He died for all so that those who live, that's us, that those who live should live no longer for themselves, but for him. And when we think about living for him, what was his main priority? What was his mode of operation? What did he do with his life? What was his top priority? It was people. It was others. And so when we live for him, that means that we, we will be living for others. And it is his love inside of us that compels us to live in this man. Remember, it was Jesus who said in John chapter 13, verses 34 and 35, that by this, all men will know that you're my disciples. By what? By your love for one another. You know, people can be successful without being spiritual. But what I'm talking about goes beyond success. I'm talking about going beyond success. I'm talking about taking it a step further. And in order for us to go beyond success, in order for us to take that step further, then there's got to be something on the inside that's driving us. And it can't just be drive, and it can't just be willpower. It's got to be something that's genuine. It's got to be something that, that comes from somewhere else. And it's a heart that is compelled by the love of Christ. And that heart that is compelled by the love of Christ compels us to give of ourselves to others. And that's the first secret of success. That's the first secret on your path to progress. And that is giving. And giving is so much more than money. You know, in life, you don't get what you want. Well, sometimes you do, but, but it's a given that you don't get what you want. What you get is what you focus on. So think of it as a mirror. How you treat others eventually will reflect back on how you are treated. Some people call this the karma effect of cause and effect, but I think that it's not just the karma effect. I'm talking about something that is greater and bigger than that. I'm talking about the Bible. I mean, listen to what Jesus said. He said, so in everything, do to others as you would have them do to you. What I'm talking about here is, is taking that step further and treating others better than how you are treated. Don't, don't tit for tat. Don't eye for an eye. No, it's give better than what you've been given. Instead of judging people by their past, how about we help them build a future? Treat everyone with kindness, not, not because they are kind-hearted, not because they deserve it, not because they are good, but because you are good, and you're good because of the goodness of God that lives inside of you. Never look down. Never look down on someone unless you're helping them up. Hey, can I ask a big favor of you? I mean, since we're in this together, since we're in this journey together, since we're in this, this life together, what is one thing that you can do and what is one thing that you will do to help others? I want you to put that down in the comments. One thing that you can do, one thing that you will do. I mean, what we're trying to do here is just generate ideas for one another. So that if we can't think of something, maybe we'll read something in the comments and it'll trigger and we'll think to ourselves, you know what, I can do that too. So I want to challenge you. Write something in those comments. Something that you can do, something that you will do. The giving of yourself, the giving of your time, the giving of, of you for others. This has been 10 Minutes of Truth with Pastor Jeremy Skinner, partnering with you to reach as many people as possible, as far as possible, and as fast as possible because you have subscribed to this channel and shared it with someone you love. Have a great day and be blessed.